The Holy Spirit is God. And for this reason, because of the personhood of the Holy Spirit, when it comes to seeking the Holy Spirit and pursuing the Holy Spirit, listen to this, our pursuit of the Holy Spirit should never be about seeking an experience. It should never about be seeking a spiritual high, but it always, always, always about a relationship with him. The Holy Spirit is not some impersonal force that just zaps us with energy so we can do supernatural thing, nor do we catch the Holy Spirit like he's some wild animal that we tame and set loose like a weapon. The Holy Spirit is, in fact, the third person of the Godhead, and we enter into a relationship with him. We enter into a relationship with a relatable, loving God who communicates back. The day you trusted in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the day you trusted and repented of your sin, confessed your sin, trusted in him, invited him to your life, in that moment, the Bible says, in that moment, the Holy Spirit moved into your life and took up residence in your life. There is the biblical command to followers of Jesus Christ who already have the Spirit living in them to be filled with the same Holy Spirit. Really, the heart of what Paul is saying is this, is that you and I, can always make more room and more space in our lives where we welcome the Holy Spirit to come take over so that his power is made manifest in our lives, through our lives. For most of us, the issue is not that we need more of the Holy Spirit because we have all of him. However, the issue is that the Holy Spirit would have you and I submit more of ourselves to his leading and his direction so he can fill us, be filled and continually keep being filled. See what I'm saying? It's supposed to be an ongoing, you already have him in you. But Paul says, be filled and keep continually, continually being filled. That means that after you and I have received the Holy Spirit at the point of salvation, we are still to be constantly and continually filled by, controlled by, empowered by the Holy Spirit in us as a way of life. So if we go back to the question, how do you get continually filled with the Holy Spirit? Well, it's the same picture. You, you drink of him. You drink of him and allow him to fill every nook and corner of your life. Drinking of the Holy Spirit and being filled by the Holy Spirit means setting your mind on the things of the Spirit. For the Spirit of God will not contradict the word of God because he inspired it. It's not just about the experience. It's about a relationship. He's, he's interacting. He's communing with you. And you can't go, fill me, Lord. Fill me, Lord. I don't really want to do what you're telling me. The question is, what area of your life are you withholding from the Holy Spirit? Remember, our pursuit is never about seeking an experience or an emotional high. It is about a relationship. The clearest indicator that you are filled with the Holy Spirit is not some experience or some spiritual high. No, the clearest indicator that you are filled with the Holy Spirit is an internal love for Jesus Christ that manifests itself publicly in a powerful proclamation and demonstration of the gospel so that people far from God come to know Jesus.